four-day forecast, these storms are taking my breath away at times with the thunder and lightning. Here is meteorologist Brian Thompson. Right. Yeah, you know, you know, lots of thunder, lightning, Laurie. We've had a lot of rain with some of these storms as well. And some of the marks producing some strong winds. We had a 53 mile per hour wind gust earlier in Newark. So with water, we just up to the 43 miles per hour just a few minutes ago. And that's where the uh, biggest threat for damage winds is right now with a, a cluster of storms that's now heading into Nassau County where there is a severe thunderstorm warning in fact uh, for another 15 minutes or so. No uh, severe thunderstorm warning back to the, much of the city right now. It's still in effect for portions of Queens, but uh, we do have flash flood warnings in effect for parts of the five boroughs. That extends back to Jersey City, Newark, Elizabeth. These are areas that have picked up uh, some spots close to two inches of rain already. And while the heaviest of the storms are now moving north and east of the city, there's a lot of rain still across much of New Jersey that still has come through. So we could see another half inch to an inch of rain here over the next couple of hours. As the evening goes on, though, a lot of this will start to shift to the north and east. Uh, just a leftover shower later tonight, a little 75. Uh, but again, flooding the main thread here as they head through the evening hours once this initial threat for damage and wind starts to move on out. So we'll sunshine giving away a cloud tomorrow. It's going to be a hot and humid day. We could have a repeat performance again tomorrow with some strong, gusty thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and into the evening hours. Kind of on the 90 real field temps near 100, so about as steamy as it was today. Uh, as we get into Friday, very warm and humid with some sun, maybe a shower, a thunderstorm high 87. Try for the weekend, but hot. Huh, the sunshine highs around is just above 90. Still have some heavy rain right now in the city at 76 degrees, and midtown are going down to 75. I'm acting with the meteorologist Brian Thompson on New York's weather station at Sunday. It all starts with just one thing. This summer, try some eco-friendly water sports like paddleboarding, swimming, or diving. And be sure to use reef-friendly sunscreen. Find just some more at OneThingUS.com. What's your one thing? With Nissan 734, Jeffrey Epstein's longtime associate, Elaine Maxwell, wants a gag rule imposed for prosecutors and others in her case. Maxwell is accused of luring young girls, so Epstein is sexually abusive. This is a nut job. What a nut! ...to stop prosecutors, federal agents, and lawyers for alleged victims from making it more out-of-court statements about Elaine Maxwell. The lawyer cited public comments from a press conference announcing the indictment and interviews by attorneys for alleged victims and said the statement so far has been prejudicial. It appears the defense said that given any opportunity, lawyers associated with the prosecution of this case will offer any opinion that damages Ms. Maxwell's opportunity for a fair trial. Yesterday, in response to a reporter's question about Maxwell, President Trump said he wished her well. The president said he knew Maxwell when she lived in Palm Beach, when she was on 7.35. Twitter has removed more than 7,000 accounts linked to QAnon, a conspiracy group with a history of spreading disinformation online. In a statement, the site said he's been clear 